When I run Grandmaster Nightfalls, I want a solid loadout. Something that can effectively and efficiently take out enemies from a safe distance. Something with a large mag capacity that can stun champions with no problem. Something that is reliable. My name is Mactix, and today I am here to tell you about the most reliable weapon archetype in Grandmaster Nightfalls, Scout Rifles. Wait, Scout Rifles? No. No, it can't be right. Every, everyone knows scout rifles suck in PvE. Yeah, believe it or not, scout rifles have shown themselves to be arguably the most reliable weapon archetype in Grandmaster Nightfalls throughout the season. Over all of the runs I have done, I notice more and more how many benefits this weapon type has in these types of settings that other weapon types lack so clearly. So, where is it that scout rifles outshine the competition so obviously? Well, let's start with range. Obviously, we know that close quarters is not the strong suit of the scout rifle. Hand cannons, auto rifles, and most certainly SMGs will always win out. But if you haven't figured out already, being close quarters with enemies in Grandmaster Nightfalls is about as smart as Ikora giving Susmode Osiris full access to the Vanguard Sabathun files. What the fuck does that even mean? You never want to be close to enemies in Grandmaster Nightfalls. The further away you are, the better. And scout rifles have absolutely no complaints about this. They don't care if you are sitting next to the Barrier Colossus on the park bench or if you are on the other side of a football field. They will perform either way. Scout rifles excel in another category as well champion killing. The funny thing about Grandmaster Nightfalls is that the more you do them, the more you learn which weapon types are good with which champion mods. You also learn that most of them honestly kind of suck, especially in the overload category. With this season sporting overload SMG and hand cannon, both close range, low mag capacity weapons with slow overload round activation times, I've never missed having an option like overload scout rifle so much. You see, when you're dealing with champions, namely overloads, you want a weapon that can stun it from range effectively and that can keep fire on it to prevent its health regeneration before its next stun. Close range weapons are never good for this, as overload champions love to be up close and personal, and will always put you through the ringer in these scenarios. I mean, minotaurs and captains, to name a few, love to get in your face and shotgun or torch cannon you, and your SMG or hand cannon isn't such a worthy competitor. Furthermore, scout rifles have a high mag capacity paired with a slow and controlled fire rate that allows them to maintain overload shot uptime on a champion to stop its health regeneration, a luxury that counterparts like SMGs and hand cannons certainly do not have. And even if you do run through your entire mag, scout rifles have some of the highest reload speeds in the game, especially when paired with perks like rapid hit. And of course, auto rifles have this same high mag capacity, making them a better contender than the aforementioned options, but scout rifle will trump it in the range department every single day. Scout rifles actually rank second place among the best weapons for killing barrier and overload champions, losing out to snipers in the barrier category and bows in the overload. So, with strong range, good champion busting power, consistent damage, and a hell of a reload speed, what scout rifles do you want to be bringing into future seasons with you to tackle some grandmasters? There are currently five main players in the game at the moment, in my opinion, and I am not going to necessarily tell you which one to prioritize, because although while Nightwatch is the king of scouts at the current moment, Bungie recently announced that scout rifles as a whole will be getting a noticeable buff in PvE, meaning the current best archetypes of scout might shift around a little bit. 180s or even 260 RPM scout rifles could be the kings of next season. So I'll take you through five scout rifles of varying slots and fire rates and let you know where to get them and what perks you should be hunting for. First up we have Nightwatch, a kinetic 200 RPM beast with a pretty nifty overflow and explosive rounds roll available from the New Light quest line obtainable in the quest archive kiosk next to the postmaster in the tower if you haven't gotten a single good one yet. But you could have a slightly better roll, tactical mag is always amazing and appended being a pretty good runner up, and rapid hit and explosive rounds is actually your dream main perk combo for lightning fast reloads and bonus range and champion busting power. The Night Watch is currently just a world drop, so just play whatever and you'll see them drop in time. This guy here is the current king of scout rifles, but like I said, a buff is coming to all of them soon, so we will see where it ranks when that hits. Next up is the Hung Jury, a 180 RPM kinetic scout with an optional adept variant obtainable from Nightfalls in specific weeks. If you are watching this video anytime between August 10th and 17th, it's obtainable right now, so make sure you go and run some. And if you actually need some help, you can come to my stream, twitch.tv slash I do help with Nightfalls all the time. Let's help you get a really good Hung Jury. Looted Barrel and Small bore are both nice, with tactical mag being the best option for mag, and just like Nightwatch, rapid hit and explosive rounds are what you are looking for. 
The Adept version is nice for the extra bonus stats and Adept mod capabilities, but not so incredibly better that you're shooting yourself in the foot for using the regular variant. Following that, we move into the energy slot with the 180 RPM scout rifle from the Vault of Glass Raid, the Vision of Confluence. Rocking solar damage, we want fluted barrel, appended mag or ricochet rounds, rewind rounds, and frenzy on this guy. Once again, there is an adept version that is a little better, but not necessarily game-changing. Moving on, we have another solar option in Trusty, the 260 RPM scout rifle from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. As a 260 RPM, this gun has a built-in full auto fire, so no need to get carpal tunnel while using this scout rifle. This has plenty of good barrel and mag options, with small bore and tactical mag being my personal favorite, but so many options can work really well. For the main perks, you are really hunting for reconstruction and redirection, both Deepstone Crypt specific perks, giving you twice as big of a mag and increased damage on champions if you poke at one of their red bar minions first. Finally, our 200 RPM Arc Scout is the Eternal Blazon, obtainable from World Drops and Umbral Ingrams this season. Your best bet here is the Torch SR3 Sight, along with Ricochet Rounds, although so many sights and mags will work great. For the main perks, you really want the Rapid Hit and One for All combination. Great reloads and a great, easy to obtain damage bonus. I also want to mention I've seen and heard good things about the Vouchsafe Dreaming City Void Energy Scout Rifle, but I haven't used it enough to have a strong opinion or roll recommendations for it. So I would hang on to any of them that you get for the current moment just to have a void option moving forward. And that is all of my scout rifle recommendations. I have provided links for them all on light.gg down in the description below so you can see all the different perk options on them. You can also hop in my Discord server linked in the description and post whatever rules you get to get my feedback on them. I'll let you know if they're good or not. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider leaving a like on the video if you did and maybe even subscribing if you want to see more content from me. And as always, have a great day.